I am so confused. Come and be it's all that matters. Who cares? Almost like a taser, but. I hey, yo, Sean, you look like you. Toe, brother, where you been? Peace is the key to being free. Good morning. What's going on? Listen, I. I'm about to start getting ready for my day, but I got a bunch of packages in. I'm about to start wrapping some gifts. I want to tell you about some gifts that I got for myself. Obviously, I need to replenish, and also for my friends and family, my mom, my sister. They need to try some of these, okay? So I'm trying to put my sister and my mom onto these Ollie supplements. It's been a long time coming. I've honestly been keeping them to myself this whole time, but I was like, you know what? For Christmas this year, they're going to get some of these. So... I'm going to be gifting them the they better not watch this either <laughs> before before they come and get their Christmas gifts. But I'm gonna be gifting them the Ollie Glowing Skin because I love them. Not only are all of these gummies delicious, the two that I take and I do the hair supplements, not only are they delicious, the bottle is mad cute. It just makes you want to take it. The glowing skin gummies are great for hydration. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which our bodies naturally make, but why not take a supplement to add to our bodies? I do take the hair supplements i get lots of comments on my hair you know the hair is growing and flourishing even when i went and got a trim my hairstylist was like you do your own hair i was like yeah i haven't been to the hair salon in probably five years except when i was getting my hair shaved so she was just she was shocked she's like whatever you're doing keep on doing of course the supplements are part of my routine to maintain my hair and then the sleep vitamins are great too I never used to be one that believed in this whole melatonin, you take it, it makes you drowsy, honey cow, people thing. It be working, okay? So all of these three are definitely on my list to give to my friends and family. And I had to restock on some for myself. Now I have a discount code, it's down below. Make sure you use it, save some money, don't spend all your coins, save some of it, and go ahead and get your get yourself some of these supplements also get some for your friends and family don't be stingy there's enough to go around okay so i just finished all of my hair i'm gonna do makeup in a second but let's go grab some gifts because i want to get these under the tree before like before i forget just finished filming this look using the kbd good apple bomb and it came out so good ah <sighs> i hate to eat this side is not curling like it's not falling okay it needs to, i want to go this way when i flip it but it needs to go like this and then back whatever okay i need to eat i am hungry it is one o'clock i have another meeting going on right now that's gonna start in 10 minutes and I have two packages at the door that I need to get. I need to, what is that? Ooh. Well, I think one of them brought more than one package at the, to, to the door. So I need to go with that. I'm hungry. I can't wait to eat. Okay, let me get those packages and then come. I'm going to make a pizza. <music> It's not in the morning, it's afternoon. Let me turn this heater off so you can hear me well. Yo, yo, what up? I have not turned the camera on in quite a bit this week. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but hey, and what up? So, actually, I didn't know what that's about. Let me just tell you really fast. I'm waiting for my therapy appointment to start. I spent maybe two days trying to find 
footage that I lost. I'm sure I deleted it. I accidentally deleted all the footage I had from this one day. And I, I use two different memory cards and I usually download them to my computer and then I delete. And I, I, like I, I cannot put my finger on why I would have deleted it and how I deleted it without knowing. It's just, this is the second time that it's happened in like two years. So it doesn't happen often, but I'm sitting here like, I, I, literally I was, one day I was like, where's the footage from XYZ? Is the footage from me getting my ears pierced. Like, where's the footage from me going to Rowan? What happened to that? And I was like, did I already post it? And I'm like, no, I didn't post it. Well, where is it? And that's what I was trying to find. It was a lot of footage and I don't know where it is. And I know I was recording. Like I know I pressed record on my camera. So like, I, I literally cannot even, I don't remember even seeing it in my hard drive when I uploaded it. So I spent days trying to figure that out. I have this software that I downloaded, Clever Files, something, something. I paid 90 bucks for it a while ago when I first, it actually was back in May, when I had deleted all these, well, this footage. I had paid for it back then and thank God I did because it came in handy. So it was finding deleted files and they just couldn't find it. So now I'm like, yo, did I ever even press record? I know I pressed record. I don't know. I can't find it. So there that there goes that. All the footage I had to show you when me you get in my ear pierce, going to Target, all of that gone. This skin fix cream, eczema cream that I have been using on my neck every now and then leaves a residue. It's annoying, but it works. So I just use it at home. So if you see this white stuff, that's what that is. It's not the skin fix that I recently bought from Sephora. This was sent to me. It's very thick. It's for eczema and it leaves a residue. So that's irritating, but it works. So this is for home use, okay? Now, uh, my camp, my computer is restarting. I'm downloading Monterey. Hopefully that doesn't like, mess things up. Back when I used to have the iMovie, not nah, back when I used to have Final Cut Pro and it was the, oh, here, here it is, here she is. I have to continue this discussion later. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Wow, so I definitely am giving her essential right now. I forgot where I left off before we were talking and I got on my therapy call. I just realized, I realized a while ago, I just haven't gotten around to it. I need to do my nails, yo. I've kept these nails on for three weeks. People always wonder how long these nails can last. Girl, it's been three weeks. Look at these, so grown out. And they're still hanging on. They would be on if I kept it on for another week, but it's enough. I've just been grind, grinding and not even thinking about changing that. I need to wash my wig, but honestly, wig washing is annoying to me. Wig washing is annoying. I don't feel like it. It's the stupidest thing ever. So I've been dragging my feet, but anyway, as a result, I have another wig that I have to, I have to style. I need to style it. I've had this wig for probably almost, not probably, stop, be definitive. I've had this wig for almost a year. <laughs> I never styled it because I hate having to style wigs too. I just love easy get up and go, you know, like it's really like my vibe. And I can't lie, having my hair so pressed was nice because I didn't have to do much to it every day. I was keeping it very simple. So I do miss that. I wanted to so press it again and I was going to book an appointment. But next week we are going out of town. It's a surprise. And for that reason, I don't want to have so pressed hair it's just not where we're going it's not gonna it's not gonna be maintained <laughs> so that ain't gonna work for the kid you know i need to do my nails again but i always do toes first and i do gel now i showed you right i got the gel kit andrew renee convinced me although andrea you don't be showing us your nails anymore show us your nail routine hello hi it inspires us so i got the kit <clears throat> i think this is one she's i'm not sure but i got this LED UV one hand kit from Amazon I'll link everything below and then I picked up the Beatles polish because she said it's good and she's right the other day I almost ended up gel polishing my hands I wanted to see how it would look I don't know I know how it look I wanted to see if it would last or how long it would last but then yo press on is just so much easier man y'all fade now oh this one is lumpy this one is messing up yo press on is just get up and boom nowhere you so i just said you know what i just do my gel my toes and my hands because yo they charge 20 dollars just for the gel polish on top of the whole pedicure granted i did enjoy the pedicure i am going to put that in rotation it's just i don't like having to go places like that it's uh, i know like i don't want to sit there although i should just sit there but because i want to do my own gel at my own time what would i be like I, okay i would have to just go like periodically but i'm not going every two weeks i'd rather be at home doing something else so pedicure with gel over there at the salon would have to be like an every now and then thing like my birthday's coming up in december mind you by the way and 
December birthday. So, you know, I'll go get a pedicure then. You know what I'm saying? But like on a day to day, like tonight, right? Like tonight, I'm going to do my nails. You know, I feel like I'm going to get up and go sit at a nail salon for how? Why? You know, so it's just great to be able to do stuff on my own time, like right now. This gel polish does last. And this set looks way better than the last one. Granted, this is this is the nude set that I got. I love it so much. Yeah, and it, it just looks so good. The color I chose, however, the first time wasn't a good color. I didn't like it. This color on my toes right now is more peach. <laughs> Not that you see it. I need, I need to wash my edges. Girl, it's a whole thing right now. But you know what I love is the the whole glow up. Like when I get all the way dressed, it, it looks right, you know? So that's all that matters. Who cares? So this color is so beautiful. It's a peach color. It's a beautiful peach color. So I want to keep it, although I did pick up this other gel set from Beatles because it has bright colors, pinks. I love me some pink. And I said to myself, I don't mind keeping the same colors all the time, but you know what? I wanted to go with pink and they said you could color the tops of these because the tops come white. You can color the tops of these and then cure it. I didn't feel like doing all that. But then what that means is I have to open each one to see what is what. This one came with the sticker and the color. Why couldn't that one do the same thing? That's annoying. But for instance, here's one of the pinks, you know? I love pink. Like, this is cute. But I am loving the nude color on my toes. Because I do press-ons, my toes do not always match my hands. And I'm okay with that. Like, I don't care. I do have a white color that I could do so I'm talking I'm saying all this because I wonder if I should do my toes a pink like this is a violet type pink should I do my toes a pink color but then that would mean that my nails got to be pink well this is a nice peach but am I interested in doing a pink I might not want to do pink you see what I'm saying like what a tangled web we weave you know but all this does does make me happy just making my own decisions in this way <sighs> I say all this because I'm sitting right here trying to figure out what I'm doing. Am I painting my toes today? Am I going to just let these hang on for dear life? They look fine far away. Ain't no one going to be like looking at my toes, sniffing them and stuff. They do look fine. They do. They didn't grow up that much. Am I going to just hang on to these until tomorrow? Let's say I do my nails tomorrow because it is getting dark, you know, and... I do want to wind down with what I what I have to say is I love the idea of I love painting with gel because there's no drying time. I love that about gel. It is completely a done deal once you finish. It's so good. And I've gotten better. I've gotten better with the coating, making sure that it's not too thick. Oh, it just looks so great. Okay, maybe I will not maybe. I am going to match my hand and my feet, hands and my feet this time around because why not now here's the thing for our trip next week i don't want long nails because we're going to legoland and i want to is my face my face is peeling a lot of things happening right now i want to be free to be able to grab i'm not going to be trying to be dainty at a, at a theme park because here go a nail falling off i just can't you know what I'm so i know i'm going to want short nails for that we leave on tuesday so the thing is is that i'm not I, I don't want to do my nails now Thursday and then do it again on Monday. So what I'm saying is whatever set I do, like I'm going to do my nails. I, these things got to be done like now. <laughs> I'm going to do my nails, right? And whatever set is on is going to stay on all week, all next week. So talking out loud, but maybe that means I should put on, I do have some cute pink. Like this is a light pink set that I've had on for a long time. I can do a more magenta looking like a Nigeria for best fuchsia and a, and a fuchsia type pink. This is more on the red side. I don't want to do red. I told you red is cute. I did I did a long red press on set one time. It was fantastic. It was like really really sexy. I have to say. I just I don't know. I can't do I can't do short red. Okay, this one is really beautiful, like a peachy pink. I have a peachy pink nail set. I want to do something different from this because if I stick with something close to this, then it looks like I never changed my nails. And I do enjoy the change of the nails. That was a milky pink. Oh, this is white. Okay, we have white. White is like clutch go-to. I could just throw on a white because, of course, I have an abundance of white press-ons. But it looks similar to what I have on right now, right? This looks a little white. I want to do a color. What do I do? I could do my toes white gel and then do my white press on. Is that what I should do? What do you think? 
I have two different whites. I have the one, the white one in the nude set, and then I have the white in this pinky. You know what would be so? This is a magenta, though, Violet. You know what would be so cute is like a design. What if I did a French looking situation on my toes? I don't do one a lot, you know, but I'm having fun. Like, what if I did one of these like brown type flesh colors and then put the white on the tip? But I would have to be really precise. That would kind of be cute though. I don't know. Am I into that right now? It's dark. I don't want to be. Oh, no. It's, it's, pouring, it's pouring over. What's his name? It's too dark outside for all this. I need the daylight. The daylight makes me happy. So, you know what? Ooh, this is a nice little beige situation. I love. And then this nude set right here. I'll link all this below. Is really chocolatey. Like, skin tone. Okay. Imagine this with a white tip. Or, imagine this on the whole toe. Making it nude. And then, imagine using one of these beige type colors as the French tip color. Now that is quite a quite a combination, wouldn't you say? I'm not about to do all of that in the dark, let me just say. So what I'm gonna do, put on my calendar right now, I, I live on my calendar, I edit my calendar as my days go on. I'm gonna put on my calendar right now that tomorrow I will do my nails because on my calendar, which I have color coded, okay? I have my nails set for every week on Thursdays, but I just move it if I don't do it and I didn't do it. So I'm gonna do this tomorrow. It probably gonna get moved to Saturday and that's okay, you know? These still look decent, my toes still look decent. We gonna do that Let me put these away because I, I just don't like leaving things so cluttery. Yes, I mean. um, can I please have um honey bunch of those? Okay, go ahead, go get some, a little bit. Mommy okay. loves you. But, but I wanna sit on my Chair that I have. Oh, wow, look at you. Chair that you have in the room? No, no, please. No food in the room. I love you. Mm -mm. Did you see my... I loved it. Yeah. That was like a handstand. I loved it. Okay, so... I did you sure did. So I'm going to just end up doing this tomorrow because, like, I can't. Now, tomorrow, I have a, a lunch meeting with my girlfriend. Excuse me, it's breakfast. We moved it. And that's happening tomorrow. It's been a slow week, you know? That's happening tomorrow. And I already picked up my outfit. You know what I'm saying? And then... My shoes, my bag is already like picked out and uh, I'm, this is bad. I'm supposedly styling this short wig. It's a bob and it's natural. It's a four by four. So what I need to do is cut the lace, put foundation here, put the mascara here. You'll see, this is what I do. And then I need to style the wig. Like now I could just style it on the wig head. But I want to show you how I style it because I think it'll be nice for you to see how I style the wig, for God's sake. I should have been done this, you know. I really should have been done this, but here we are. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> going to do those things tomorrow. Yeah, I will have time. I will have time. I'm getting up early tomorrow, and then I'm going to do it. And you're going to see. Maybe I'll just style the wig on the wig head. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. go have breakfast with my girlfriend i'm gonna let you watch me get ready and also play this podcast from trent shelton straight up with trent, straight up with trent shelton it's episode 89 stop giving away your piece it's so good let me start from the beginning okay here we go hey you welcome to today's episode of straight up podcast i just asked for these next 10 minutes that you just really open up your soul, open up your mind, and really digest everything I'm about to say. Because today we're talking about inner peace, protecting your peace. And I just want to tell you, peace is something you'll never experience if you keep letting the things you can't control control you. Inner peace is what we all seek calm in the midst of chaos, clarity in the midst of confusion, focus in the midst of frustration. 
I want you to understand this. Peace isn't the absence of problems. It's the presence of purpose. Peace isn't the absence of problems. It's the presence of purpose. I have a question for you. Would you rather be at peace with the world than at war with yourself? Or would you rather be at war with the world and be at peace with yourself? You see, peace doesn't mean that the things around you are silenced. Yeah. It means that the noise around you doesn't become you. Yeah. Inner peace is about disconnecting from the world so you can reconnect to your soul. It's about disconnecting from the world so you can reconnect to your soul. Inner peace is about letting go. Letting go of what people think about you. Let go of trying to be everything to everyone. Let go of a perfection that's impossible to obtain. Inner peace is accepting what is and knowing that what is will always serve your future self. Knowing that the path might not be perfect, but the purpose of the path is Inner peace is knowing that everything is preparing you for everything you pray for, for everything you dream for, hope for, or wish for. Peace is the key to being free. You will always deal with anxiety. Try to be a control freak. What do you need? to let go of? Is it expectations? Is it trying to change someone? What external things are you trying to connect your peace to? So I want you to understand this and hear me. Peace isn't an external thing. It's an internal gift. Peace isn't something that's given to you. Peace is something that comes from you. Stop trying to find your peace in people. I repeat, stop trying to find your peace in in people. Stop trying to find your peace in status, social media, likes, followers, positions. Stop trying to find your peace in money. Stop trying to find your peace in this world. Because John 16, 33 lets us know this world doesn't have it. This world has tribulations, not our peace. You'll experience peace of mind when you stop trying to find peace in things. Mm. You'll experience peace of mind when you stop trying to find peace in things. And peace of mind is the ultimate back. It's the highest form of success to not be worried by your worries to not be troubled by your troubles to not be stressed by your stresses you're less anxious because you're not trying to control your tomorrows Mm. and you're less depressed because you're not trying to change your past you just accept you just are and you just be your life becomes more alive when your peace becomes prioritized. Prioritizing your peace looks like spending time in nature because nature heals. Nature is God's natural medicine for the soul. The more you can get lost in the trees, the more you can experience inner peace. Prioritizing your peace also looks like Give your soul the attention that it needs. It's okay to say no. So you can say yes to yourself. Mm. It's okay not to go. 
So you can give yourself the time that you need. Sometimes you have to disconnect. Sometimes you have to disappear. Sometimes you have to distance yourself from the world so you can reconnect to your peace. Sometimes you have to distance yourself from the world so you can reconnect to your peace. Inner peace doesn't allow you to feel guilty. Forgive your soul the attention that it needs. Inner peace is not an open door policy. You have to protect it by not being always so available and accessible. Truth is, some of us are too available to the pain. Mm. Some of us are too available to agony. Stress starts with access. But you choose to stay in. Hear me? But you choose to stay in. Will continue to come in. Mind you, let me say this is very difficult. I had the blinds closed because, like, hello, the sun is in my face. But then you couldn't see me well, so now it's open. It's difficult. I would never do my face this way if I didn't already know my facial structure, if I didn't already know what I wanted, if I didn't already know where to put stuff. There's no way in, in God's green earth that I could do that. I'm just going based off of routine and just knowing where I want stuff. But I cannot see my my face the way I would like to see it when I'm doing my makeup. So... <laughs> just know that I'm able to just figure this out because I know where I normally put my stuff but this is not like I can't even see my contour well <laughs> I just hope that it looks good once everything come once I finish obviously what you're connected to will continue to power you if it's costing you your peace that is too expensive. What people in your life are too expensive? What environments in your life are too expensive? What habits in your life are too expensive? Think about it. If it's costing you peace, it's too expensive. If it's making you feel worthless, it's not worth it. It's time for you to protect your peace, my friend. It is time for you to protect your peace, my friend. Stop delaying your peace for people. Yo, yeah, isn't this so good? If you're familiar with Trent Shelton, comment below and let me know. He normally has very aggressive podcasts, but I see he's doing something new, which I think is fantastic. It's always good to grow, do things differently, give it a shot. I love how he's doing these meditative sessions or what podcasts where he's not yelling and being very aggressive. It's like meditation. That's a dry skin on my peel. I love it. I think it is amazing. I stumbled upon this and I'm like, wait, this is different. The music, the vibe is so peaceful. <sighs> it's just so good. So comment below if you're familiar. Let me know if you're familiar. If this is new to you, I wanted to share it because this is this is what I do. You know, I like to grow. I like to, where are my scissors at? I can't do it. You know, I got to cut my paper towel. Where is it? I'm trying to move so fast. I can't even find things. I cut my paper towel pieces, keep my area clean when I need it to clean my hands and my brushes, you know, just like as I'm going along. But yeah, so, so good. Stop delaying your peace for their problems, for their pain. It's time for you to protect your peace. Remember, sometimes you have to lose certain things to gain better things. Sometimes you have to lose certain things from your life so better things can enter your life. So if their absence brought you peace, or if its absence brought you peace, I can't even see. You didn't lose them or it. You came you. The more you tolerate from this world, the more you separate from your peace. The more you tolerate from this world, the more you separate from your peace. I'll leave you with this. Please set yourself free 
by prioritizing and protecting. Your P E A C E. And like I tell you, at the end of every single episode, it all starts with you. If you got any value from today, all I ask is that you share this episode with someone. All I ask is that you tag me on social media in your stories. I'll be responding to as many as I can because this episode is special. It also marks a new era in the Straight Up Podcast. And I thank you. And I'm grateful for you. And I just hope this brought some calm. This brought some comfort. This brought some peace. This stuff is so good. So I just used the, the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Powder, which is so good. I did it. I used it in a video. You'll see it soon. And I know I'm picking out the eye boogers. I just can't. You got to get the eye boogers out, girl. Like, come on. Don't put your makeup over the eye boogers. That's gross. And I know I use my tweezers to do this. I have dry skin right here on the side of my nose. You can't see it, but there's just a line. Got to get that. Don't just let that sit. My skin is peeling around my mouth. The dryness results to peeling after a while. I use... So as a, rather than go to my dermatologist that I have, I've been using Curology because it's just so easy. And my prescription is a lot cheaper with the Curology than it is with my dermatologist. So I've been doing that. And the prescription is really strong, which is great. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's really strong, okay? And I use it every other day, sometimes every other, other day, because it's so strong, you know? And with it being so strong, what happens is it uh, it results in my skin being feeling dry. And then that dryness results in my skin peeling. So it what it's doing, it's, it's a tretinoin in it. What it's doing, which is retinol, prescription grade retinol, is it's quickening the life cycle of my the top layer of my skin it makes it turn over faster so where it would take was it 28 days for the skin to fall off and then for new skin to show it does it a lot faster and as a result my skin peels and uh i then have to exfoliate it off like it's a natural it's unnatural it's an exfoliating process but then when the skin is just like looking right there like i can just see it yeah i just freaking pick it off <laughs> because what and i do use for instance dermalogica microfoliant from time to time to exfoliate my skin because like what in the world so my skin was just peeling us i had to pick it off because you could see it in the makeup and that's like ridiculous I'm not gonna just leave that there. Yeah, so Curology is what I use because it's so easy. It's mail order. It's mail order. It's all virtual. It's great. I mean, granted, last time I saw my dermatologist, it was virtual, but it's just that my with my prescription, with my insurance, excuse me, my prescription I think was like eighty dollars. Whereas with Curology, I get a three month supply and it's like forty dollars. So I'm like, what? Come on. So I just go ahead and get that. It's just easy, you know. These doctors, I don't, I don't blame them, but. She be wanting me to, girl, I'm not going to have a visit with you, pay a copay, and then come pay for this insurance. Like, leave me alone, okay? Just give me my refill. Stop trying to get me to come and see you again so you can get that office visit. <laughs> you trying to you trying to build my insurance for this office visit. No, ma'am. You know, so she be kind of getting my nerves. And I get it. That's what she has to do. I'm really hot. This sun coming in here like this make me really hot. So I have my little fan on. Girl, I can't do it. It's too much, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can barely see myself well. I don't know what this makeup is looking like. <sighs> Man, you know, I don't know if it's even. I don't know anything right now. This is the challenge. Getting ready at high, high, high sun, high sunset. What do you call this? I don't know. Okay, what else do we have? I have lots of options here for podcasts. Therapy, therapy for black girls is talking about insecure. I don't watch insecure. So they be talking about all kinds of stuff. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? 
like give us like regular therapy sessions not not therapy sessions but you know give us regular conversations this insecure stuff i don't know what's going on with that i don't follow it all right i'm on my way right now my face is still feeling tight around my mouth but i did use the hydrating spf for my mouth area and i used the milk makeup hydrating hydro grip what do you call it yeah the milk makeup hydro grip setting spray which is adding that's that's part of why my face is looking glowy and dewy which i love it just still feels tight around my mouth this is just it's the annoying part of addressing my rosacea and i actually started to do the sandwich method which is putting something on before putting on my prescription cream so that there's a barrier on my skin and potentially less irritation although I don't always do that because I'm so used to doing what I'm used to doing and what I'm used to doing is putting it on my skin like my skin without anything underneath it anyway I have on my sweater dress from Amazon so cute I'll link it and if I get a chance I'll show you my outfit and I can't wait I don't normally eat breakfast but we're having a we're just meeting up for breakfast today Check my reflection in the mirror like there. I think my boogie be. Not my skirt moving up when I don't have money. Is that you, girl? Oh, you fancy. Hey. Hi there, I'd like a grande hot latte with whole milk, sugar-free syrup, six pumps, please, and that's it. All right. I really should have ordered and done curbside. I don't know why I just, I mean, there isn't a line, but curbside is just easy. I already have my order saved, and then I just pull up, pick it up. Why do I even do this? I have no idea. My car just, how does, what? My scan and pay, it got money in it, wait. I thought it, oh, okay. I knew it automatically, what's it called? It automatically, what's your calls it? Oh, that's what people do when they do gift cards. They load a gift card on their phone and then screenshot the gift card and then you take the screenshot to Starbucks and get a drink. Okay, because it looks just like what I be seeing on IG stories understood i'm gonna do that one day i just did not know how to do it i just did not know how to do it i was like what understood and of course it'd be smart to buy a new gift card each time because if someone saves the screenshot <laughs> and goes and uses it again <laughs> it is actually just using a gift card like how you know like how in the world oh my gosh anyway yeah Thank you. Also, you're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, like, thank you. Are so great. Oh, thank you. I just had to say. Oh, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Yo, so I'm home now. We went to an indoor playground today and I'm home. My skin is looking real good, by the way. I used the KVD Beauty Good, App good Apple Bomb situation. And on top, I used Fenty Powder Foundation. These names trip me up. They annoy me. I can't remember all of these long names. So when I abbreviate, that's why. And my skin's looking to it. I did prime with the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Primer. I didn't put on my forehead and stuff, but it's natural hydration and I love how my skin is looking. I did have a salad, so if you see things on my lips, that's why. So my husband just took me to get a haircut. I 
am so confused. I always get so confused when I get free time by myself, obviously outside of me getting up early, when I have free daytime by myself, not work day, like outside of work day, like weekend, like today, I always get so clustered about what I should do because part of me is like, oh, I should go watch a show, but like what show? Because I don't watch many, very, very many shows and the ones I do watch, I record and I don't have any that are just outstanding. Oh, let me go watch YouTube. Well, I do that all the time. So it's not like there are any outstanding videos that, I, that are pressing for me to watch. Oh, let me read a book. But then I'm like, I could be doing something else. What else should I do? I don't know. Like I can go to the store, but I really shouldn't go to the store because I need to lower my spending. And it's just like, I, I mean, there are lots of possibilities of what I could do. But then part of me is like, I should just rest and enjoy this piece. But I'm not a rest kind of person. Just my personality for better or for worse. So I'm just standing here because sure enough, I need to open up my PR packages. Sure enough, I need to clean the studio. Sure enough, I need to clean my desk. Sure enough, I need to fold laundry. I should wash my wig, this other wig that I love to wear. I should sleep. You see, like, it's just the, the process of elimination of like, what do I do right now? I know all the things that I need to do in general. I should pack. I should pack for our trip on Tuesday. Uh, I, I already keep my suitcase, you know, like 80% packed anyway. And I have a list of things that need to go into it. So I don't feel as, packing is not a problem like it used to be. I could do that, but it's a surprise. So I don't want, need to see the suitcases. I could put the suitcases in the guest room. So see, but it's like, is that the best use of my time? Like, I could do that while he's here. I want to know what I could do, what I should do to take advantage of this peaceful time by myself. I could take out a glass of wine, put on my robe, and watch a show. I could sleep because I am sleepy. I don't have any wine. I would have to Instacart. I don't know how quickly they'd get here. All the things. Anyway, <sighs> this is what I do when I'm trying to get ready and I don't know what I'm going to wear and I haven't decided what I'm going to wear first. I just do what I know. And what I know is right away, I just got home, I need to turn my candles on. So that I know, let's just eliminate, process some elimination and do what I do know. So what I do know is my candles got to go on. That's how I just, that's how I do stuff sometimes. So bathroom candle is, bathroom candle is bathroom body, winter, candy, apple. I love, oh, you know, I normally don't get scents like this, but so good. Ooh, look at this ambiance. Hi. I just love how this sounds. It is so like, almost like a taser, but obviously not as powerfully sounding. Tasers, yo, I have a taser and I use it for my walks. I haven't been for walks in a while. Like what is happening with my life? I used to do a lot more walks. This is so like cool, <laughs> the lighting of it all. I used to go on walks and I have a taser that I use for them. Girl, it's rechargeable. I need to recharge it. I haven't used it in quite some time. Here, let me, oh, I need, oh shoot. I need to clip, I need to trim the wick on this thing before I even, what you call it, before I light it, hello. The wick is looking all crazy. Like, hi, wait, am I gonna be able to put you down like in a reasonable fashion? Hold on. Let me go get the wick trimmer because she acting up. Look, laundry, like how? Oh, I'm so confused. So when I saw the color of the candle, I immediately thought that it was going to smell like cinnamon, chocolate, like cake, you know, like a hazelnutty type cake because of the color. But the scent is very fruity. It's a very fruity scent. Only these candles from Jackie and Ina look like this when they need to be trimmed that I've noticed. Bath and Body Works mm, every now and again, not all the time. But for these candles, it's every single time. But the way it burns though, I've never seen a candle burn that way. So, you know, I'll have to deal with it. And I love how it even looks once it all settles down. I had burned a candle from Nabella Noor's company. I didn't like how it was burning. Like the way it, the wick was looking on the inside, it was like a real crazy. It was giving me home goods, you know, the candles from home goods. This looks so gorgeous and it smells delicious by the way the candles from home goods are mad affordable right and it makes me like want to hoard on so many of them but since i buy candles so often now i am comparing and contrasting and i'm like nah yo 
the way that a luxury candle for $38 like these, the way that these luxury candles burn, it just burns differently. You know what I'm saying? Now, obvi, I get bath and body because of the affordability because I burn several candles a day. So you do gotta, wow, what a wow. <laughs> so you do gotta mix and match. You heard what I'm saying? Okay, yo, so I found, I, I got this tool off of Amazon. Yo, only Amazon will have you buying these kind of things, yo. And it is a, a fabric shaver. You know how you might wear a sweater or something? Your couch, it gets all that, those knit balls on it. This is supposed to shave it off. Now, I don't know if this cover is supposed to be taken off or what. I'm the kind of person who throws away the whole instructions and I just go head first and figure it out until I get stuck. So I don't even know. Look at this humongous gra grasshopper on my window. Okay, now my love seat is dirty. Okay, look at, just quickly by looking at it, nice and white, gray, okay? Okay, from pants and just skin and just whatever. I need to wash it. I do have a fabric cleaner. I just haven't gotten around to it. Here's the first step though, cleaning off this those freaking hair balls or whatever those are, lint balls. And then of course I'm going to clean it. I have the machine, I just need to put it together and do it. I have the soap and all that, okay? Now this has an on and off button. And here's what it does. And it collects right in, it collects right into this blue spot. Now let's see how this works, okay? I need to a lot going on around here i need to hang these things up like how okay let's start at the top here a decent spot of the couch okay actually yeah even the back of it watch see even the back just from sitting here your back all of these lint balls all this stuff this is what it's supposed to shave so let's see if it works without me taking the top off oh yeah if you push it on wait am i yeah it's working am i supposed to you know what okay i think i'm supposed to take this off i think i am supposed to take this off i feel like this is the protective cover so let's do it without that cover oh yeah this is working a lot better. This thing works a heck of a lot better without that cap, number one. So that's definitely the protective cap now I know. Number two, you gotta be real careful because look, it's giving a little bit of a pull look. This thing works, so I'm not gonna press it so hard anymore because wowzers, but this works. Wow and wow, I am impressed. Yo, this thing works since I'm watching uh, Ohima's video. This thing works insanely well. Look at this side, all linted up, and then this side that I've already done. Wow. Like, wow, wait till I clean it. <laughs> wait till I clean this couch, like, hold on. Yo, this thing is insane. This would be perfect. If you wear jeans and you have thighs that rub like mine, I don't wear jeans very often, but I used to wear jeans a lot, and my thighs have always rubbed all of my life. And you know how you get those balls, the lip balls, the, the <laughs> thread balls? This would be perfect. You need that. Hello? Hey, yo, Sean, you look like you Wow, wagwan well, popcorn. I don't want one. That's saying, the Lord is worthy. Can you tell me one thing he's done for you lately? What has uh, he done for you lately? Ooh, yeah. doom, 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 doom. Hello? Oh, hi. No, don't be yelling. Don't be screaming at me, Shaquan. <laughs> what has he done for you lately? Everything, girl. I sobered up, so I'm not ready to go home. Sobered up? Where you been? I'm last adore.